Okay, here's another controller. This one is really dirty, we gotta clean it up. H model, as you can see. I already connected to the computer and I'm using the um, joystick control panel um, control panel to test this with a USB adapter. So let's see, the D-pad doesn't do anything at all. L2, R2, dead. Bumper buttons, dead. Triangle, dead. Oh, square works. X works. Circle doesn't work. Analog works. Times six work. Select and start work. See, same as before, same pattern. These two work. Is to work and one of these may or may not work but it's the same thing and I'm gonna open it and it's probably gonna have this and we're gonna dissolve it so let's let's get that going let's see and put it elsewhere so I don't lose them because I'm gonna need them and then I always pop those out because it's easier to put back the controller without this on and let's get the screws out of the way I like to clean the controller as I go because I know I'm gonna fix it So I'm just going to clean it. It looks in pretty good shape. Everything is where it needs to be. It's nothing broken. It's just um, dirty. This control the best it can be. All right, this part's fine. Oh, look at that! I was wrong. This is one of those more rare controllers where the connector. Oh, what a bummer! We're just gonna be an easy video. Look at that! I'm just gonna remove it and replace it, and that's gonna fix the whole thing. And you guys are gonna learn nothing. I'm gonna have to find another controller. But that's what happens when you don't test anything before. But that's okay. We know this thing is not working. Let's unplug that. See? The traces on this one, you can clearly see it. And all over the place. I don't know what causes this, but uh, if it's oxidation or they're just worn, completely worn out. So this garbage replacement part, and then we're gonna cut off the little size here so it will fit. Always remember to do that, because otherwise it won't fit on your middle core section. Five minute video. Closing it up. Wait, that didn't work well. There. Same thing here. Let's get this connector where it needs to be. Close 
on some tabs. And this controller is ready to go. Let's um, clean this real quick. This is the part of there. Yes. It gets pretty nasty on most controllers. The best way is to have something pointy like this and just scrape it out. All around. And then just take a damp towel and wipe it off. Wipe it off. Alright, looks pretty good in there. Let's close up. First the cord needs to be in and then this part. You gotta move the joysticks a little bit so they fit in place. Make sure the LED fits in the right place. Make sure these wires are tucked down in there, not on top of this circle. If you leave them on top of the circle, <coughs> the other the other half of the controller when you close is gonna bite onto the cable and they might get disconnected. All right, so, oh, you know, I forgot to put this, but I can do it now. Okay, let's see. There we go. Another one. There we go. There is a screw here in the middle that needs to be in there. before I fully close it to see what it's doing. I'm just gonna hold it. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Now they are working. Everything is gonna work now. And this too. Everything is fine so I can put it back together now. back down here, let's close it up, Good, let's put back the uh, triggers and the other one. Everything works. So this one's done. I like to put in a quality control sticker so I know I fix it and then put it in a different box. This is what I put it in. And that's it. This one it's it's done. It's I I still have to um wrap the core properly and inspect it but i know this core it's in good condition already <clears throat> most of the h controllers the core is always fine the a model on the other hand well you'll see once we get into them a lot of them have problems um freight wires is a, it's a big deal on that model but not on the h the h 
core it's never never a problem it's always in good condition it's and it's a better quality controller overall despite the big flaw but you know it can be fixed and not only you fix it when you replace the connector you make it that it could be fixable in the future because now you can unplug the ribbon cable and just put in a new one all right we're done here